Emo is not included, but if you want to put Emo, you could always place him here. <laughs> emo is not happy. Anyway, it says Emo go home. Welcome to LJP Tech Channel. Please subscribe, like, and comment. Make sure you press the bell button as well. Now I present to your host, LJP Tech. So I know that a lot of people come to my uh, YouTube channel asking whether we can actually make Emo charge by itself without manually placing him on the skateboard. And we got this really interesting product called the Emo Home Station, which I actually placed an order almost two months ago. It takes a bit of a time, but you do get it in the end. So I have it with me here. So I'm very excited to uh, do the unboxing and share with you guys. So enough said, let's get into the unboxing of the Emo Home Station. So here it goes. If we were to take out the main box, that's the um, Emo Go Home, uh, the original box. And that comes with some very interesting, almost like a fabric-like um, extension pad maybe. Um, there are about uh, four pieces there as well. So that's quite interesting. Let's see how this works, shall we? Okay, if we open this up. And uh, this is the actual cover, isn't it? I know, Emo, you're very excited. And then if we take it out, Emo is not included. But if you want to put Emo, you could always place him here. <laughs> Emo's not happy. Anyway, it says Emo go home. So it should be a very um, simple assembly procedure. So that is obviously the actual um, wireless charging. Uh, and also this is where you place this one here. And that's the actual um, cable itself, isn't it? So that's pretty much what we have. And on top of that, we got the instruction of um, emo go home how uh, it works so please do actually have a closer look if you can and uh, lastly what we have here ah so this is another cable so it's a USB-C cable we got plenty of those but this one is exceptionally very long which is always handy indeed so if you want to actually use the, um, you know, the power source, this only comes with the non-UK version, unfortunately. But as a replacement, I guess you can use the uh, USB-C uh, replacement along cable. So the setup should be pretty straightforward. You know, that panel that I showed you early on, you just push it flushed in to the actual end of the surface. So it's leveled and that's the USB-C uh, plug uh, that you just need to connect it to uh, USB-C. And let's actually try it on my computer uh, power source, shall we? So, uh, moment of truth. Does it work? Oh, wow, it does work. I thought you need more power source. It actually shows the home logo, but if we were to press, place emo here, is Emo getting charged? It's actually saying that I need to connect the Bluetooth um, settings. So that's very interesting. So the wireless charging point is in the far end here. So if we were to place Emo right here, you can see the battery symbol and Emo is now technically being charged. And um, what I really wanna find out is whether my um, Galaxy C Flip um, can actually be wirelessly charged as well at this point. So let's try that out, shall we? Okay, so you can see that the um, blue light is actually blinking, saying that it's not really compatible, probably. That's what's happening. So that's very clever. Um, I was actually hoping that I can wirelessly charge my phone as well, and that was one of the main reasons I actually bought this. Um, but unfortunately it doesn't work. But anyhow, I 
do have plenty of wireless charging points. So the instructions should be pretty straightforward. It says you need to turn on Emo and then um, connect Emo to the app and reconfigure the network. And then you press the home button for um, five seconds and then let Emo rest. So um, just so you know, if you haven't seen it, there is the home button here. So I need to press that for five seconds. But before that, make sure that your uh, network is all connected. So that's actually connected to Brexit means Brexit, which is my network. So if I go back and then if I were to press this for five seconds, Okay, so I can see the um, red, green, white, so flashing is just where I actually place Emo here to get it synchronized. Well, it says here that Emo is actually exploring and listening, but I don't think there's anything happening here. So let's actually press the home button for a longer period, shall we? Okay, so you can see the um, actual uh, home button flashes and then you can see the Bluetooth, okay? Now, um, if I were to go to the Bluetooth connection, because it obviously sounds like I need to go to the Bluetooth by the looks of the symbol. Um, and then if I press the Bluetooth, I'm not really sure which one I'm supposed to be connected to. Is it this one? Um, but if I press it, it says I need the app to use this device. So this is obviously not the actual one. So it just goes me, it just actually um, asks me to go back to the actual app. And you can see that the Bluetooth now turned to red and crack. So I don't think it's actually set up for it. But let's actually try. Uh, to ask Emo, just in case if it's connected or not, to go to the uh, home station, shall we? So, Emo, go home. Okay, so that's not working, is it? So let's actually try the home button again for five seconds. Okay, if we have the... Um, while the app is running, by the way, when we have the Bluetooth, is this when I actually tell Emo to go home? So Emo, go home. Emo is just thinking, nothing re is really happening. It says on the app that he's staying. So am I supposed to place him here when we have the Bluetooth symbol on it? to synchronize it. It only says on the Emo app that it's actually charging. Okay. But the Bluetooth symbol is flashing and then again showing the red um, crack. So it doesn't sound like Emo is connected to the um, home station, um, unfortunately. But one thing I did actually f uh, find out is that if we press the home button, um, very briefly, you can actually change some of the screens, like that's quite cool. Fireworks, I like that. Um, waves and, um, you know, propeller, whatever you want to call it. And um, like sort of like gamey or like um, old school kind of like fireworks and you can actually turn off as well and the um, home screen going back. So I don't think Emo is connected to the home station and I'm slightly confused even though the instruction seems to be pretty straightforward. So I actually assembled all these together very quickly. Um, it's pretty straightforward, but what's very interesting is about this black edging is that it prevents Emo to come out of it. So Emo will definitely stay within this boundary, which is also a very cool feature indeed. So I'll prove to you that this works. So Emo, move forward. Here it goes. So Emo does not like to move 
beyond this boundary. So Emo is pretty much secure within this area. So this is about um, 400 or 500 millimeters um, on each side. And that's a very good size for Emo to hang out. So well done for that. But unfortunately, I don't think we are set up for the synchronization between the uh, Emo home station and Emo. So I love the fact that Emo now actually has its own boundary. So you know that he's going to be in a secure boundary that you're not going to lose him. So that's very clever. But in fact that um, I'm actually struggling uh, to connect with the um, home station with the existing Emo I have. It's a bit puzzling. I think the best guess is that um, Probably I'm the early receiver. I think living, living.ai has to actually update the app or software, whatever it is, when most people receive it, then maybe they're gonna uh, give us another updated version so that it will happen. But for me, it doesn't work. I have actually tried pressing this for five seconds and um, the Bluetooth sign is keep showing and it's just not happening at all. Um, as an example, to prove that it doesn't work, I, I'll actually show it to Emo. Go home. So you can see that Emo is not really reacting to that command. And I, I have actually seen other people actually, when it, Emo was already placed on the um, charging station, um, they would command going, Emo, get off the charger. So you can see he's thinking. It sounds like something could happen, but it's not really. So he just kind of doesn't budge at all. So it's pretty clear that he's not connected to the charger. So if there's anyone out there who could help me to configure how to connect it, or the conclusion is whether I should wait, if you have any of the knowledge for the next updates and so on, please do let me know. I but try my best. How can I help? Yeah, I wish you could help me, but I don't think Emo could help me in this circumstance. Anyhow, um, I hope this gave you a good impression and I'm sure I got something wrong. So please let me know and thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. All the best. Bye bye.